So how long has Chris been like this? I don't know how long the virus has been in his system, but the symptoms have hit him hard and fast. They're attacking his heart muscle. Well, then why did he come to you? You're not a cardiologist. He didn't come to me. I caught him drawing his own blood. As much as I've tried, I can't convince him to see a cardiologist. Well, that's insane. Why is he being so stubborn? I assume he wants to stay in the running for the chief of staff position. And risk death? Apparently. Although that would make my life easier. Wouldn't have to carry around this secret anymore, or my competition would disappear. Reed, Reed, don't even pretend that this is funny. I know it's not. A couple of months ago, I wouldn't have cared. I definitely wouldn't have gotten involved. And now, you're seeing a patient in private, keeping secrets for a guy who's after the same job that you want? Even stepping up to help him get the job. Good God, who the hell am I? I hardly recognize myself. Reed, shut up with all this fake bravado. Underneath it all, you're a doctor. And you have a good heart. And you can't stand to see anyone suffer. Usually I don't mind seeing them fail. Especially if they have something I want and they're standing in my way. Well, could it be that you're actually evolving? I'm changing, that's for sure. Because I have you to thank for that. Here, this will help you cool down. Ooh. Mint chocolate chip. Doctor's orders. Whoa. Listen, I know you think that I have blinders on when it comes to Chris and his job at the hospital. Well, I know you think I don't give him the support that he deserves. So, what do we do about it? Eat our ice cream before it melts. I'm serious. So am I. I just don't want the competition between Chris and Dr. Oliver to be a constant irritant between us. You know, ultimately, that decision will be made not by his mother and father. I know that. I mean, this is a very high position to go after, and he's got to convince the right people that he wants it badly. And you think he hasn't? Well, I think maybe he's got too much on his plate. You're talking about Katie? No, Katie. Establishing a new practice. Coming back home. Maybe it's more than he can handle. I just hate that we don't see this from the same point of view. There are two things that I know we agree on. Yeah? What? The first one is that uh, we want what's best for our son, regardless of what he chooses to do, as long as he's happy. Right. So, what's the other one? This is good ice cream. <laughs> you must have really hated being there. Why do you say that? Because you were pale as a ghost at Metro, and now you seem almost normal. A uh, little bit of a headache. Took an aspirin. I feel much better now. No, it was more than that. You seemed so wiped out at the party. Were you nervous? No, not at all. And then Reed, I don't know what was up with him. He was acting like your best friend. Yeah, well, he... Probably recognizes that I'll get the job, you know, once I get on my good side, that's all. Confident much? Always, especially when you're with me. Uh, I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're not gonna suddenly turn cold on me again, are you? No. Scout's on her. Good, because I'd have to get out of the baseball bat and hit you over the head with it if we did. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want that to happen, would we? No, we would not. Do you want me to get you anything? Something to drink, to eat? The only thing I want right now would be you. Ooh. What about Jacob? He is staying at Allie's tonight. Good. Yeah, very good. 